not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. could love your country but hate what the government has done to it what if sometimes to love your country you had to alter or abolish the government what if jefferson was right what if it is better to perish fighting for freedom than to live as a slave what if freedom's greatest hour of danger is now we have the most unequal distribution of wealth and income of any major country on earth i'm sick of it one percent of America has 40 percent of all the nation's wealth. Are you kidding me? Where are we at in society today? The bottom 80 percent, eight out of every 10 people, or 80 out of these 100, only has 7 percent between them. And this has only gotten worse in the last 20 to 30 years. While the richest 1 percent take home almost a quarter of the national income today. Are you kidding me? In 1976, they took home only 9%, meaning their share of income has nearly tripled in the last 30 years. The top 1% own half the country's stocks, bonds, and mutual funds. The bottom 50% of Americans own only half a percent of these investments. So more and more income goes to the millionaires and billionaires, while millions of people are working longer hours for lower wages. You want to know why people are angry? why people are concerned, why people are worried, what is going to happen to their kids, is because, let me break it down even further, the typical male worker, that guy right in the middle, makes $283 less last year than he did 44 years ago. Imagine that. Today in America, we have more people living in poverty than ever before, and that's 46 and a half million people. And Madam, President, here is a fact that should frighten everybody, and that is half of Americans have less than $10,000 in their savings account right now. Can you imagine that? To be truly free is both very easy and very hard. We avoid the horror of our enslavement because it is so painful to see it directly. We dance around the endless violence of our dying system because we fear the attacks of our fellow livestock. But we can only be kept in the cages we refuse to see. Wake up. To see the farm is to leave it. The people who sat in darkness have seen a great light. If you are awaiting a finding of clear and present danger, then I can only say that the danger has never been more clear and its presence has never been more imminent. What is democracy? My mother once told me, nothing bad will ever last.